Hey guys, and welcome back to another dental school vlog. It's been a while since we've done one because I was on break, which was quite nice. A little bit boring because quarantine breaks, you know, what is there to do? But before I get any questions, yes, we are starting a new semester. We kind of have three semesters, so I guess this trimester, but dental school, at least for my school, is year round. So we have a fall semester, we have a spring, and then we have a summer. So I think summer is like a little bit shorter. It's from May until mid-August. But because of the pandemic, it's a little bit different. And it's honestly kind of all over the place and I don't really even know what's going on today. I always like to do a little intro at the start of each semester, kind of tell you what classes I have going on in the semester, what's going on in general. First year summer is supposed to be a very hands-on, like lab intensive summer. And we are going to lab, but it's only like once or twice a week, maybe, because we have to limit the size of groups we're going into lab, which I don't really get because if retail stores can be open, why can't we go to lab? But either way. So what they did was they kind of condensed the first eight weeks into all of our like didactic courses, which are just like all of our like actual lecture courses. So I have basically a full schedule, like three lectures a day of didactic courses but then they also put lab on top of it so today i have six hours of lecture and four hours of lab so i think i'm going to be starting off the semester by getting behind honestly because i don't know how i'm going to finish all of this today i just don't think it's like humanly possible for me to do 10 hours of work in the first day of class it's 8 50 right now at 9 a.m we have radiology i think it's just pre-recorded some of my classes are pre-recorded some of them are live it's very confusing Apparently there are three PowerPoints I'm supposed to get through in two hours, which just will not happen. And then scheduled at one o'clock, I have dental materials. And at three o'clock, I have local anesthesia, which was supposed to be our stab lab for the summer where we actually practice injections on each other, which I was very excited about, but it'll happen in, I think we go back in like late June. But also from one to five, I actually have real in-person lab. So I actually have to go in-person to lab. So I don't know if those other classes are going to get done today. So you already see the confusion of online dental school. Also, some of our classes are recorded, some are live. It doesn't really say on the syllabi which is which, so that's something I'm guessing I'm just gonna figure out as the day goes on. Some other classes I'm taking are occlusion, diagnosis and treatment planning two, we already had one of that. Um, operative two, which is basically just drilling and filling. Nutrition, very excited for our nutrition class. I hope I learned some valuable information. Fixed restorative materials, I don't know what that is. And then we have clinic again, which usually we kind of practice cleanings because that's the first thing we do on real patients. Uh, should be in the fall, I think we start to see real patients. Obviously during quarantine, I haven't been waking up as early as I used to. I used to wake up at like 6.45. Today I woke up at eight and tomorrow class starts at eight. So I think I need to start getting up at like 7.30 at least. I made myself my little cold brew protein coffee, my new favorite thing. It fills you up a little bit because it has like 10 to 15 grams of protein, depending on how much you put in. And also wakes me up a little bit, gets me ready to go for 10 hours of class. I used the pumpkin spice today, but I also really like the caramel latte. The pumpkin spice is seasonal, so you can't get it year round, but I will link the caramel latte down below. It's super good. And if you haven't seen my what I eat in a day video, I did like a step-by-step -step on how I make this. So be sure to check that out. And as always, I have a link that gives you free shipping below for first form. All right, without further ado, I think I'm gonna start trying to get set up. And then I also need to set up my OneNote folders. Um, I always like to redo my one notes. I might just do it one class at a time because I don't know if I feel like doing every single class right now. So yeah, time for radiology. Okay, so I went through and made a little notebook for each of my classes. Usually I just do it in one notebook for the semester or else I have like 10 million notebooks. So it's just kind of easier to have them all here. I made one for schedules. So this kind of has my schedule, which literally changes every week. We love to see that, very confusing. And now I'm gonna go to my canvas and I need to change all of these names because like, I don't know what 7122 is, you know, like I have to actually label it with a class name. So I have my schedule that I wrote out yesterday over here. So 7122 is Fix Restorative. And that must be Fixed Restorative Lab. All 
All right, so it is 9.30 and I have gotten, yeah, I'm a little sunburned. I went on a hike yesterday. Oh gosh, that's not good. And I just think I need to check the syllabus every day and just figure out which lessons are assigned for each day or else I'm gonna get really lost. Usually that's kind of figured out for you because you just go to class and whatever they teach is on the schedule. So today I have three lectures to get through for my two hour class. We have radiation units of measurement and then some radiation safety. Even though we've already taken radiology before, this is the second one, so I don't know why I would go for safety again, but it's important, I guess. So that's what I'm gonna do. Honestly, that's probably all I'm gonna get to do this morning because I kinda need to get ready for lab at like 11.45ish and it's already 9.30. So that sounds like two hours of work to me. And then I guess we'll figure out what's happening with the rest of the classes tonight or tomorrow. I just, I'm literally already getting behind. So it is 10.30 now, starting my second radiology PowerPoint, um, second of three, it's so exciting. So this is, yeah, probably all I'm doing this morning. I didn't feel like making any super fancy breakfast and I forgot to make my overnight oats last night. So I'm just having two rice cakes with peanut butter because honestly I'm having lunch in like an hour and a half anyway. So I don't need a ton of food and the protein coffee holds me over for a while. So I finished all three radiology lectures. Um, actually, I didn't quite spend a lot of time on the third one because it was kind of just practice questions, which I feel like will be more useful before the exam anyway. And now it's 11.30, so I don't really have time to start a new class. So I think I'm just gonna download the syllabi for the next two classes I have this afternoon and download the lectures and just like get ready to do them later. I'm gonna try to do at least one of them tonight. I don't know if all of them are quite posted yet. And I got stressed out for a minute because one of my classes that ha already had the lecture posted said that they were having like a WebEx meeting at three o'clock today. And I was like, well, I'm in lab at three o'clock, um, but they're just holding office hours over WebEx. So I feel like that's nice for them to record the lectures and then have like an open office hours time to ask any questions. So definitely appreciate that. But yeah, I'm just gonna get some stuff set up for this afternoon and then get ready to go. Okay, so I've downloaded all the rest of the PowerPoints. I have four more PowerPoints to go today. So excited, um, but it's 11.45 and I need to get dressed, eat lunch, and then head off to lab. It kind of sucks because I'm really like not feeling lab today and I don't really have a choice when I go in, like we're assigned a spot and I only have two more practice sessions before my practical exam. We're doing maxillary class twos, which basically you do all of the drilling with indirect vision in a mirror. So it's very new, um, it's very hard. And I just don't feel like doing it today, but I have to make the most out of my practice session because I only have one more after this. I feel like I'm only gonna do one day for this vlog because it just seems like a lot, but I'll check in later in the week for some more vlogs. And I'm just having some leftovers for lunch, just a little chicken thigh and some broccoli, but nothing special, probably not quite enough, but whatever. So I just got back from my lab 
It's 5.30 now and I really wasn't feeling drilling today, but I actually stayed the full four hours, um, which I'm very proud of myself because some of my classmates were leaving after two hours, so I stayed the full time. It's hard because usually I don't like to drill in four hour segments because that's just so long. I kind of like to do a solid two hours split across multiple days. We only have one more lab session before our practical exam and we don't have any time that we can just go in on our own time, which is normally what we have. So normally I'd probably practice like twice as much as I'm doing right now that's basically like telling you like oh you only have five hours to study for this test when you normally would study 10 hours and there's literally nothing you can do about it you like have to only have that time and they're probably going to grade us the same so I'm a little concerned just because there's no way I'm going to be as ready as I would if I had the time that I wanted it just sucks because I totally would put in the time if I could but we're literally told that we cannot so Oh, Pinto says hi, Pinto. Another fun thing, we have three weeks in between our last practice session and our practical exam, so we don't get to practice at all for three weeks, then we just get to be thrown into an exam. I just don't know how that's gonna end well for me. I did two preps and two restorations today. My two preps were no bueno. Um, I was not feeling very good about them, and they're definitely not acceptable. Uh, but my two restorations were actually okay. They weren't the best things I've ever done, but they're the best restorations I've done on this tooth and they're both passable. So pleased with that. But yeah, as you can tell, I am totally wiped out. I'm exhausted. Morale was low early this afternoon, got a little better with my restorations, but I just need to take some time and relax for a minute. And on the way home, I had a little um, protein bar because I was so hungry because it had been hours of eaten and I didn't have the biggest lunch and then I spilled chocolate on my scrubs. So if that doesn't explain how today's going. whipped up my greens and reds just for a little afternoon pick me up because I am pretty tired. I just laid on the couch for a little bit and it felt good, but kind of need this. This always helps with my digestion and bloating uh, and it just tastes really good. So links down below, but I'm gonna have this and then figure out what to do for dinner. I also have a million group messages from my class to check because everyone went crazy while I was in lab and everyone's just so confused what's going on this week. So I gotta figure out what's happening. All right, so I just cooked up some dinner. This is some uh, quinoa pasta from Trader Joe's. Uh, I think that should be done now. And then I also heated up a few meat meatballs also from Trader Joe's. I like to make them in the air fryer because it makes them nice and crispy. The air fryer is like one of my favorite kitchen appliances. So now I have to strain the pasta. And then we are basically ready. I'm also gonna add some tomato sauce. Here's the final product. Kind of boring, kind of basic, but then I also got myself a little cheese on the side, so why not? All right, so I've been waiting for this neurophysiology PowerPoint to download, or not download, but to open on my computer for like 30 minutes. Um, it's a like, it's like almost a gigabyte of data um storage i'm really tired i don't know what the word is but you know what i mean and it's just not loading and it's already 9 30 and i said i would stop at 9 so i'm gonna give up on that but i finished all my other powerpoints this is the only one left so i'll just finish it tomorrow i think i'm gonna still vlog tomorrow vlog might be super super long but you know if you don't want to watch it you can just click away if you still want to watch it keep watching so i'm gonna get ready for bed check on my animal crossing island before bed because gotta get those fruit trees you know while they're in bloom and then i'm gonna go to sleep okay talk to you guys later good morning guys it is Tuesday. Just made my coffee. I forgot to make a uh, cold brew overnight, so I have to do hot coffee today. But the protein is good in coffee both ways. So I didn't get my lecture working last night, so I just have one more lecture to do. It should be like about an hour, I expect. And it will not play on my computer because the file size is huge. So I'm gonna try to play it on my iPad. And apparently there's like a lot of talking anyway, so it might just be better to type my notes this time. But that's what I'm gonna do. And then I have three classes. Anyways, after that, I have operative lecture, which I already have a midterm for next week, excuse me. Then I have occlusion, and then I have diagnosis and treatment planning. So today should be not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was not a normal day, literally awful, but we push forward. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I literally cannot get this PowerPoint to open. So I'm gonna get that last class again, save it for the end of the day. I might have to do it on my actual like desktop computer because this is not working. So, oh, hello, Peach. <laughs> Just got all my stuff ready for my operative class and we have not one, not two, but five PowerPoints to do today. When I have a million PowerPoints for a class, I make like a little subfolder in my little notebook and then I make all of the PowerPoints sub pages. So today we're doing a bunch of stuff on um, composite. So I just have all my PowerPoints ready to go and I'm gonna take notes on my iPad while I listen to the lectures on my computer. Okay, so we just made our breakfast tacos for breakfast again. Um, I kinda need some easier breakfast or else, because it's kinda hard to like spend like 20 minutes making breakfast when I have so much class. But basically we have scrambled eggs, Trader Joe's, soy riso, not chorizo, soy riso, and then we add some cheese. And then we use these almond flour tortillas from Whole Foods. I cooked these in my what I eat in a day that I posted recently, so be sure to watch that if you're interested, but it's my favorite breakfast recently. So it's 11.15 now and I finally finished my operative lectures. They definitely took over two hours and I was being like as focused as I could, like really not taking breaks. I took like a 20 minute break to make um, breakfast, but it still took me over two hours. But I'm finally done, so I'm checking that off my list. One of my classmates makes these nice little like PDF kind of schedules every week. So I'm just doing that to kind of like keep me in check, make sure I'm getting through everything every day. So this is what she does for us. Super nice of her. She's like our class secretary or something. But Monday, see, I have my little check mark, finish those. Still have not figured out the anesthesia lecture. And so far today I've done operative and next I have occlusion. So I'll probably have a few lectures for that. And then I have one lecture this afternoon. I don't know when I'm gonna get the stuff done because it's already 11.15. So hopefully I can finish occlusion soon and then I'm gonna take a little break. I need to go to the post office, send out something for one of my giveaway winners. Um, for my 50k giveaway I did on Instagram, and yeah. All right, so it's four o'clock and I finished everything that is on the schedule for today. I did my operative stuff, which took like three hours. Did my occlusion stuff, which was so confusing. He was just talking about like each slide for like 10 minutes with zero text on the slide. And it's just very hard to understand when people do that. So I'm very confused. And then diagnosis and treatment planning was super easy, just kind of a review thing. So now I need to somehow figure out how to get my anesthesia PowerPoint working. We'll see if that can happen. I'm gonna take a break real quick and just like reply to some emails and stuff and charge my iPad because it's at 10% because I forgot to charge it yesterday. And then hopefully I can finish that last PowerPoint and then I wanna work out and kind of relax tonight. So I finished with the neuro lecture. I got it working on my computer and it was good. It was a new professor and he seemed really nice. So that's always exciting. And that means I got through all of the lectures from yesterday and today, which means I'm fully caught up. It takes a little bit more time to get through the lectures the first day of class just because I have to set up the syllabus and all that stuff too, but we are working through. So I'm about to go pick up some dinner. We didn't really feel like cooking tonight. I'm actually not a huge takeout person, but during quarantine, I'm so bored of cooking. I'm just staying inside that we have been getting takeout. So I'm gonna do that now and then we might go on a walk later. I didn't get to working out today, but I think I'm gonna start working out in the mornings before class if I can. Just need to figure out a way to work it into my schedule. It's okay to take a few days to adjust. Ian is doing the dishes. So being loud. All right, ending the vlog here because it's probably getting super long, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.